have to do something every single day, you make sure that you invest in the right product uh, to make that not only possible, but as easy and as healthy for you as you can. There's no harshness at the end of the day. I don't have any sort of like d d fatigue, ear fatigue, like you'd have on some other brighter speakers or just speakers that just beat you up. But you can have a, a crappy audio interface. You can have a crappy MIDI keyboard. But if you don't have good monitors, you're not going to be able to make a good sounding song in the end. And I can drive these things as loud as I want in this space and they don't they don't break up. They they sound phenomenal at, at as loud as I want to listen to them. Sometimes you get in a hyper studio environment and things might sound great in the studio, but then you get them out to a car or to earbuds or, you know, whatever people are listening to on and all of a sudden it's totally different and that doesn't help anybody <laughs> if it only sounds good in the studio. So I need something to sound good in the studio, in your car, on terrible headphones, on all, you know, all these things. I want to get as many people accurately hearing what the artist intended as possible. And I feel like these, they get me exactly where I want to be. Can an entry-level studio monitor totally kick your butt? Introducing Aeris Series E5 and E8 Active 2-Way Monitors. Nothing about them sounds or looks entry-level. Powered by high-current Class AV internal amps, long-throw Kevlar low-frequency transducers with massive magnet structures deliver tight bass. Ultra-low-mass silk dome tweeters deliver detailed open high-end. It's a dirty little secret that monitors in Eris's price range are designed so that they sound impressive in the listening room, lots of bonky bass and tizzy treble, but they aren't accurate when you're trying to do a serious mix in your studio. Our Eris series are true pro monitors with the back panel acoustic tuning tools you need to tailor their sound to your room environment and musical genre, including high and mid-range EQ, low cut, and acoustic space controls. You end up with mixes that sound good everywhere, not just in your studio. When you're serious about tracking and mixing, don't settle for a studio monitor that treats you like a kid. Choose the professional edge you get with the Eris E5 and E8 from Personas.
Welcome to Mackie Tech Support Videos. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your CR Series speakers. After you've unboxed your CR3 or CR4 speakers and situated them where you want them at your workstation, they are ready to be hooked up. The set comes with one powered speaker and one passive speaker. Here's a quick hint. The powered speaker is the one with the power cord and the power switch on it. It also says powered speaker near the top. Simply connect the included black and red speaker wires from the powered monitor's spring clips to the passive monitor's spring clips. The black wire goes to the negative terminal and the red wire goes to the positive terminal. Depending on which speaker you have on your right or left, you can adjust the speaker position with this handy switch. If your powered speaker is on the left side, the switch will be in the up position and the down position for the right side. This is handy so you can park your powered speaker close to a wall outlet or power strip. Now you're ready to connect a sound source to your speakers using either the balanced quarter inch jacks or the RCA jacks. You can connect to your computer's line level output by using the supplied 1 8 inch to RCA cable. You can also connect a smartphone or media player using the included 8 inch to 8 inch cable. But wait! There's no sound coming out! Don't forget to turn it on and turn up the volume! Thanks for watching this Mackie Tech Support Quick Tech video.